back again. Right, bearing the hull. That's um, everybody's favourite job, sanding back, longboarding the hull. Um, and uh, yeah, copious quantities of bog uh, to get the needed of it, often to get the boat fair and looking sharp. But uh, there are definite techniques and principles that you're going to engage well prior to this to make sure you minimise the amount of bog. And I've been through those before, but let's explain it again. Um, keep the boat true to form right from the beginning. You know, make sure that uh, you know, your strings are fair, your plywood goes on fair, when you um, plane back the plywood, that's all the line's good and true. Keep putting that laser level on, get this one right, even though you know, it's disappeared. Um, and behind there, I know it's all good and all, it's all right. So uh, it allows me just to use this tool here, which is just a uh, rupee sander. Now, well, it doesn't have to be rupees. Any good industrial sander with a, a much broader, broader sweep uh, than your, what you buy with the, the standard ones in the, in the uh, hardware store, and pair it up with a vacuum cleaner. Right? They come with a vacuum cleaner. Okay, it's a bit of investment, but well worth it. Dustless sand, it's amazing. No masks, go to it. And um, on, uh, I did explain earlier on too that there are various processes I could um, do when uh, putting on the glass. Like um, I, I quickly mentioned, and very important, you can't lose track of this, that uh, you, know, you, you get that um, carbonate bloom that forms on top of epoxy. Epoxy sticks to anything, nothing sticks to epoxy, not even itself. So. You, and that's because there's this um, water-based substrate that ends up on the surface, it makes it shiny, you've got to scar it off with uh, sandpaper or wash it off with water, like so that. Do both, actually. Um, really important where you get lamps, like when, you've, uh, when you find yourself um, uh, filling next to uh, unprepared, you know, a surface that hasn't yet been prepared so it's still got the carbonate bloom on it. Um, you, you've got to make sure that you don't lap it over top of it because those two won't stick and some say it's a park company. So that's all good. Um, yeah, so prior to putting the bog on, um, I had two options I could peel ploy. Um, in order to you know, stop the carbon at blowing my okay, quick revision. Had to resin the whole hull because the wood was absorbing too much resin and when I went to do the glass it was sucking the resin out of the glass. So it had to pre-prepare it by resining the whole hull with peel ploy. Great. Then I had to um, put on the glass itself, and again, had to deal with that carbonate bloom on the surface. So there's two ways of doing that. You can peel ploy it again, um, or, which is another job. Or you can just go over it while it's still tacky, go over it with a quick screed of thin bog, okay? And it is actually easier to bog onto a tacky glass surface than letting it be porous like this, um, and then trying to, it, it, you know, yeah. You're going to have to do it, but it's, it's actually easier to, to put that coat on when that glass is still wet. So finish the boat, finish glass in the boat, and it's already ready to be start sanding. That's way ahead of the game. Great, great method of doing it. And because I've got it so fair and so true, I can just block it back with this. It's not, you know, normally you'd be um, swinging off a long board, you know, even two guys, big long board going along, making sure that you know there's no dips and hollows. Um, shouldn't have to do that with this. Maybe along the chines a bit. I'm playing with the longboard. I'm certainly going along with the straight edge and um, just checking it as I go and making sure there's no highs and highs. But it's all pretty good. What I'm having to do is where you remember I rebated where the laps and the fiberglass were. So where the fiberglass overlaps like that, you're going to get a two, two mil sort of build up. Um, so you can, and if I had that as a high spot here, I'd be now having to bog over it. And even though your eye probably won't pick it up, it's still there. It's, the, it's taking the hull out of form. Um, so rebate, rebating the um, both where the laps were going to be. So I had to put the whole, all the fiberglass dry on the boat, mark it, cut that back, take two mil out, channel two mil out of each of these things, and also where the ply met, we put in some extra reinforcing. So that's all these lines here. Because when I finish sanding, these are actually a little bit low. Low is good, you know, and I just squeeze the bulk down there. I just have to run over that with the, uh, the sander again. And um, we are, it will be pretty close to need to be ready to paint. And uh, I'll get on to painting later. Uh, painting, you know, you can use a surface or a high build that will effectively act like a very thin screen of bulb as well. But, you know, that's expensive, it's another process, and you should be able to get it damn near perfect with just using this, uh, this micro balloons filler. So, um, I've got a bit to play with here to get it right, and uh, I'll be back when I start talking about preparing to paint. Thank you, see ya.